and it was so gorgeous and so beautiful. And I had a tear on my eye. We were walking back to the, the, the place and my little daughter sort of went, she's only about eight, and she went, what's wrong? I went, oh, you can't hear the, the waves on the, you can't hear that. And she went, oh yeah, but I, can you see the, the diamonds dancing on the water? So I stopped thinking like I did and I looked over and oh my gosh, it's exactly what I looked like. And, we were both hugging and, you know, don't worry, Dad, I'm deaf. And, you know, wow, it's just different. Oh, my God. I move now. You write in the book about how you raised three deaf daughters. Yeah. Um, that must have been quite the challenge for you and your wife to begin with. Yeah, we, we didn't understand what losing that sense meant. Mm. Um, and for the first 16 months, our daughters, all they got from us was Well, they can't hear, we didn't know, so do you know what I mean? In the end, we started using sign language, basic sign language to help them, and it unlocked them to us. And when our next daughter came along, a year later, she was deaf, so we were already signing. And, you know, so my advice to anybody with a deaf child is, you know their hearing isn't perfect. So get their eyes tested, and if their eyes are perfect, teach them a visual language because they'll learn that one, and then they'll add the new English words that are going to be so difficult to get from. Yeah. And our daughter's proof of that. First two haven't got any exams. They had 16 months of no information at that vital age. The sec third one who came along to us, we were already assigning family. Very basic, but we were assigning family. She got nine GCSEs and three A-levels. And her sisters are not as clever as her, not their fault, because they missed, out. they missed out on, you get one chance to educate your children and we didn't know how to do it. But luckily for us, we realized that we brought in some deaf people and friends who, who helped us and even their behavior, the frustration they had was caused because the deaf way isn't that way. With my son, I, if I raised my, oi, oi, he would, hang on, where you do that with a deaf person, they don't get any difference, do they? Yeah, yeah. What you have to do with them is like ignore them and like, you're not having it. And oh my God, these people taught us how to do it. And you know, we, I have benefited so much from seeing that marvel of, of how every other sense that you've got raises and, and it's almost a gift that they've got that we haven't. Beca oh my God, it's making me all emotional now. But I had all these worries of what they, and they're wonderful, beautiful ladies who've got their own children, who, who um, we've got seven grandchildren, four boys, three girls, and one deaf grandson, and the others are hearing. So, you know, and, and as a family, we, it's just marvelous. All the hearing one sign, and the little 14 month old Finn, Oh, he's so advanced, you would not believe what he's doing. Mm. You know, you, you're reading him his book and we're showing him things and if he wants that page turn and he can't do it, he just gets your hand to change it over. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> you know, and then he'll grab your hand and take you to the, the, the cupboard where all the crisps are. And, and he, he, so he, you know what he wants, it's amazing. He's only 14 months, he's been doing it since he's 10 months. Honestly, it's, uh, honestly, please, it's so, I have lived through this and my wife handled it so brilliantly that, that there's myths out there. Do you know what I mean? And oh my God, deaf children. Some of them have, have the, some of them are taught to lip read and English all the time. They don't get their own basic language, which they should do. And then they get lost with who they are because really these don't work. So what's wrong with a visual language? And it make, it's such a wonderful language that hearing children, when they, they're babies, you could teach them that and they would tell you that their tummy hurts or they've done a poo and, and it's when they're 10 months old. They could toddle off and get you your white training shoes from un under the bed, right? And my little girl went and did that and she was only 10 months. And I had loads of different trainers under there. It wasn't a coincidence, it was amazing. So we have all sorts of secrets that I hope people understand that through my life so far, everything I'm spilling out is, is 
some secrets that I know that I wish I knew before I started everything that would have been so much easier. Yeah. And I had all these worries about my beautiful daughters and would they do this and would they do that? And I got one to tell you that's not in there. We went to the Maldives one day. I really saved up a lot of money and paid for us to go. And, and it was so gorgeous and so beautiful. And I had a tear on my eye. We were walking back to the, the, the place and my little daughter sort of went, she's only about eight and she went, What's wrong? I went, oh, you can't hear the, the waves on the, you can't hear that. And she went, oh yeah, but I, can you see the, the diamonds dancing on the water? So I stopped thinking like I did and I looked over and oh my God, it's exactly what I looked like. And we were both hugging and you know, don't worry dad, I'm deaf. And you know, wow, it's just different. Oh my God, yeah. I move now. I, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, and because you, you want to provide and you take everything away. You, you don't realize what they can teach you. Yeah. So I had no worry at all. You know, it's like doing a jigsaw puzzle with no picture on the box. They're wonderful and I'm proud of them. And, and I want the world to know that if you've got a, don't worry, they'll be fine. Yeah. But do this, because it makes it easier. I suppose it just goes to show that maybe everybody should learn sign language as like I a default so. at school. Yeah. I mentioned the, the marvellous teacher called Mabel Davis in the book, right? she was the headmistress, she, was, she went deaf, but she could sign and she had like, these don't work, but this does. And she had a picture of her brain on all. So she said, I'm gonna get to you because this, this works, you understand, right? These might not, so what? This does, come on. And she wanted them and she wanted her teachers to change to make sure that every one of my daughters, even my identical twins, were getting what they need. And they're all different, right? British Sign Language, we don't say anything, no sign support, you just talk with your hands, mm -hmm. right? One of my daughters needs that all the time, right. yeah? Sign supported English, one daughter's got, and the other daughter can do all of it, right? So each one of them, these identical twins here, they were totally different, though they were identical twins. So each teacher learned what each daughter needed. That's why they were, you know, that's why they, who, who they are now. So, wow. And two of my daughters have got cochlear implants because they wanted it, and one of them hasn't. May as well put carrots in here, Dad. I can, it's no good, right? But the other two needed it and wanted it and have benefited from it. So, you know, it's, it's marvellous. You know? The importance of having a good mentor early in life, right? Absolutely. Yeah. That's my wife. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, absolutely fantastic. I'm so lucky.